Yeah, I'd say so. Premier League's back. Who have you got available health fitness wise? Are you looking? Who's in? Who's out? Huge blow with Gabriel Jesus and what happened in the World Cup with his injury. And uh, we're going to miss him for a period of time. But um, the season has challenges. That's a challenge that we have to overcome as well. Now I'm watching Arsenal games, the boys out there, and I get so nervous to uh, uh, watching because, you know, I want to be there as well. Forty-four days since they last took to the field in competitive action. Premier League leaders Arsenal begin this crucial post-World Cup part of the season with a London derby at home to struggling West Ham. And as we know, no Gabriel Jesus for several weeks at least to come. So leading the line, young English striker Eddie Nketiah. Is this the day for Eddie to get a goal and deliver the goods? We'll have to wait and see. A West Ham is sauntering forward here. Was Bowen caught? He was caught. Ben Rama up against Warren Ramsdale. Penalty. Oh, tries to weave some magic. Balls brilliantly to Makaya Saka. The guard to Xhaka. Here's Martinelli. Oh, what a goal! Wonderful from Arsenal! They're league leaders for a reason. Nice turn from Ben White as well. Offloaded to Nketiah! Fantastic. What a strike, what a response from Arsenal! Is that the goal that puts Arsenal seven points clear atop the Premier League? Arsenal yet again down to West Ham, they win the London derby. And they are seven, seven points clear in the Premier League. Full time, Arsenal three, West Ham one. My first game was against West Ham at home, so I watched the game. We went to half time one down, and then I was so, so, so nervous. I was so like, oh, we need to come back quick. The boys played so good, it was so good, they controlled the game. And then uh, I was so happy because at the end of the day, everyone celebrate together, you know, one win. I watch as a fan, as a, as a, as a player, as a manager, as a everything. It's, it's not easy to watch. It's not easy to be out. So this is called an Ultra G machine. And what this allows us to do is to allow, as you can see, Gabby to run on a treadmill, but at the same time as running, he is encased in a compressed air chamber. So by lifting his body weight off using a compressed air chamber, then we can take the level of the body weight off. And today he's only running at about 60% of his body weight. But by taking that extra pressure off it, it reduces the pressure and the impact going through the joint that's been operated on and the psychological joy that he's got from just running today is enormous. When he started on there a few minutes ago, the first thing he said, I feel like I've scored a goal. That's how important this is. It might not look like a huge progression, but that today is, is a huge progression psychologically for any player. When you can turn around and say, I am running, it's another huge, huge step in the progression back to, to return to play. Gabby is uh, just over six weeks since the operation. He's met every mark of the way of sets probably with days to spare. And building up to aiming to progress to having his first session on the pitch 
in two weeks time. And that will be a fantastic day for everybody. From session to session, you'll always see progress. Gabby's a dream, you know, I think he's incredibly focused and determined, you know, professional. So I think these type of athletes, they make rehabilitation easy. You know, I think it's more a case of keeping the reins on him and making sure he's progressing at the right rate and, and not overdoing it where I'm never pushing him, he's pushing me, which, you know, you love to be a part of. I don't make a plan in my life. I would say I, I, I'm thinking about to one day, step by step, day by day. And if today I'm doing this, next day I, I do more. And then that's the best way to come back fit and stronger, you know? Gabby every single day turns up 100% and gives every ounce of energy. Today there's just that little glint in his eye that he knew, you know, today was the first sort of running day that we'd just build on to the next steps in the rehab process for him. I always say to Jordan and to the doc to put me to do treatment, to do uh, rehab, to do everything when the team is here because I want to be around, you know. I'm feeling better when Jimmy are hidden when they are traveling or they are day off or, because they make me feel uh, good, help, and then I, I think I can try, I can help them to feel uh, happy as well. It's a family, you know. When you feel family, you, you want to, to stay in this place. Well, after seeing off North London rivals Tottenham a week ago, Arsenal faced another huge test of their title credentials here at the buzzing Emirates Stadium. As the only team who've beaten them in the league so far this season, Manchester United come to town. It's Rashford. Oh, great goal. Fantastic goal. And the guard. And the overlap! Oh! Fantastic goal! Bakaya Saka is absolutely brilliant! Ramsdale coming, goals up, guarded! Arsenal 2, Manchester United 2. Manchester United right back in the game. Listen, this game's still got a lot to play. Through the guard. He struggled to get that one clear. Ketia. Oh, it's been nudged in! Nudged in by Eddie Nketiah! But it's a glorious evening for Arsenal Football Club. It's Arsenal 3, Manchester United 2. Just outside Washington DC. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel. Hello. Hi, Gabriel. <laughs> you were better, Gabby. Come back and score lots of goals. We, we are, are top league. league. We are top league. Arsenal. Arsenal. It doesn't feel right seeing only two Gabbies out there. Come on, we know you're fighting to get fit. Wish you <laughs> all the best. Yeah, yeah, I'm agree with him. We need uh, the third guy be there, another one. So yeah, uh, I hope soon can uh, we have uh, the lineup three guys again. 
it's so nice to hear, you know, to see that, the love of our fans, Arsenal fans. So, yeah, this gives me a power for sure. Uh, people would like to know how Jesus is uh, returning. Doing really well. He's on the pitch. He's been doing quite a lot of work on his own uh, with the ball already, with good spirit, and, and so far the rehab is going well. What would a win mean to you tomorrow? For me, it's the team. It is about beating the next opponent, and in this case, is, is Man City. And let's enjoy a beautiful night um, in a really special day. We need Jesus back. We need him back. If we're going to win the league, which I'm not sure if we, we will, but if we're going to win the league, we need him, yeah. I'm really looking forward to having him back because he can be a really big, big impact to this season. Oh. Desperate to have him back. Can't wait for him to be back. Couple of weeks, isn't it? Yeah. Manchester City are going to go top of the Premier League. In this month that he was he was out, he was always talking to me and with the other boys, trying to help. And as I said, that's who he, he is and he's a lovely person that tries to help everyone and it's so important to, to have him here. I knew from the beginning, but I think when he came, uh, I realized that he's a great guy, a great player. I've said it many times, uh, on and off the pitch, he's one of the best persons that I've met in football.
I know I can help the team when I'm on the pitch or even on the bench or in the train session. So yeah, I'm getting better each day and I hope as soon as possible I can come back to help everyone. If you want to ask me one, two eyes, because you know they want to know, they want to know uh, when I'm, I will be back. But I say, hey, listen, I don't know yet, but it's closer. Each day is getting closer. I'm counting the days, you know, to the first game. What a Gabriel Jesus returns to Arsenal's matchday squad for the very first time in 120 days. Now it's time to try to shine.